Right here I have this make your own jewelry kit. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and show you what it comes with and how we're gonna use them. So this is everything that came with this set besides the user manual. The user manual does have a lot of colored picture instructions just so you don't have to worry about getting lost. But this has all the supplies that you need to actually make your own beads. That's definitely gonna be something that the adult is going to do. And then with your child or just the children can go ahead and decorate all of these different necklaces and bracelets with whatever beads they please. There are so many different options that are already in this kit. We have some dangly pieces. We have some gold pieces. We also have some jeweled pieces. So there are so many options already. This strip right here is all the different glitters you can actually make your own beads out of. I'm gonna go ahead and make some beads and kind of walk you through that process. And then the kids are going to go ahead and make some necklaces or bracelets later. All right, I have everything all the way set up here. I'm gonna go ahead and just start with two different colors. So I have these two little containers set up here. So I'm gonna start by taking my reason and pouring it into this little container. And then I'm gonna mix in the glitter of my choice. And we do have two bottles of this reason as well. I'm gonna do one purple. And I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of blue in here. Then I'm gonna do one that's going to be pink with just a little bit of purple. Now we're gonna take these little wooden sticks and mix them up. Ooh, that's really pretty. Now you're just gonna pour this into the mold. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and add this one over to this side. So you can see I just finished filling these molds right here. I'm gonna go ahead and let these cure for five to 10 minutes. You can either do it in the sunlight or with a UV lamp. So I'll be right back when I'm done with that. All right, now that I just took these out of the sun, they were actually outside, ended up being about 20 minutes. I'm just gonna flip them out of the mold. Ooh, those are so pretty. Okay, let me take the rest of these out. Okay, I don't know if you can see very clearly, but I didn't realize that all of the pink sided ones um, were in these kind of jewel shape, kind of look where it looks like a little bit of a cut diamond look. And then the purple ones I put all in the smooth circle slots. So I just really like the different variations you can come up with. I think that is so cool. The next step is actually to use this super glue. And then we're actually going to glue the clamps into here and let them dry for about 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna place some glue around this ring. Now I can place this piece right in here. Now I'm gonna place one on this side as well. All right, I'm gonna continue to do that to each one of these and we'll let them dry for 10 minutes before we can use them. All right, I just finished with all of these beads and I think that is so cool that you're able to design them completely on your own. You can see this one, for example, is the one that I had mostly purple glitter in, but a little bit of blue. And I just think that's so pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and give all of this jewelry making kit plus the little beads that I made to the girls so that they can make some fun creations. Overall, the girls absolutely loved this set. The fact that we could customize the colors made it even more special. I think that the kids all enjoyed being able to make both bracelets and necklaces with all of these different jewelry options.